Thank you for allowing us to be here. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's a really inspiring place to work. It's pretty zen-like. Yeah, I'll move in. <laughs> Welcome to the first meal of season 20. We have 16 winners and finalists from all over the world who are super excited to cook for us today. Two minutes, guys. We first challenge. Well, I'll start. I put everything on my plate and I just have the mousse left in the freezer. It actually bloody set. It doesn't look like a carrot, but it actually tastes amazing. I make a canal, I put it on my dish and hope it's enough. Everything tastes exactly the way I want it. Nice. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. Let's start with you, Sarah. What did you make for us? Cover crops with pot liquor, smoked pork, and cornbread. There's a little bacon fat in the cornbread and the pot liquor. Sylvia, I made like a sandwich with the beetroot and goat cheese with kohlrabi reduction and bacon to make a sauce. Amar, what did you make? I did a assortment of different vegetables, so glaze and pickle, romesco sauce, seared scallop, and an herb oil. Tom, tell us what you made. I made all kinds of variations of carrots, blistered carrot, carrot chutney, carrot glaze and carrot mousse. Then I made bone marrow dust. For me as an Indian, I think uh, your green chutney is very good. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, chef. Oh, it's not bad. It's a good start. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I wish we had this challenge every challenge. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Tom's dish, my first bite was a little sweet and then my next bite was quite bitter and I loved that. Yeah. Tom's carrot fitted the brief perfectly about using vegetable forward and, and meat yeah. as a supporting actor. They yeah, said good things, so not sure what that means. What did you think of the beetroot dish? Sylvia, I thought, really cooked all the vegetables perfectly. I liked the sauce. Wasn't truly a fan of the little sandwiching. This is so red. My face is red too, yeah? Denise, what did you think of Sarah's dish? Nice balance of flavors on it. Had a little sweetness. Visually, I think it was a little unappetizing. It's just that the sauce is a little murky looking. The pot liquor is something you'd find in the South. It's lovely, but it is not known to be pretty. Very delicately put there. I'm ready for wine, maybe? I thought everyone really focused on the challenge, except Namar. We actually told him to put veg on the center plate, and the scallop yeah. comes out yeah. in the center plate. That said, his vegetables are probably cooked better than anybody else's. Yeah. It's yeah. done. It's yeah. done. Good start. Very nice. All right, Dawn, we're evaporated. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I'm not mad at you. I'm just very bad with time. I'm moving forward. You want to see in a pastry brush? But it's so hot in here. When I'm closing my patties, the dough is like melting in my hands. I hate this so much. Judge five minutes. I'm just making the puree flat so I can put the onion on. I see Ali plating his dishes. Oh my God, this dish looks good. Can you stand forward? Yeah. I want to have element of surprise, so I'm stuffing each layer of the onion with some onion puree. 30 seconds. And what happens when they grow so high? In some of our other houses, the guys that got to the top have actually broken through the glass into the free world. Oh, <laughs> exactly. Oh, wow, very pretty. Hello, gentlemen. Let's start with you, Ali. Today I have made pan seared sea bass, different textures of cauliflower and techniques. Cauliflower puree with licorice, pickled cauliflower, and cauliflower couscous. Charbel. I wanted to use the onion as the star of the dish. I roast it, and then I also did onion puree in the bottom, chicken ghee on the side, and sumac twill. Dale, what did you make for us? Roasted and pureed eggplant with a little tomato relish, stewed peppers with best end lamb. Buddha. Uh, did a eggplant with uh, shrimp and shiitake, silken tofu, pickled purple kohlrabi. I wanted to keep it more Japanese. Thank you, chefs. Thank, Thank you. you. Good job, guys. Thanks well done, guys. Mm. What did you think about Ali's dish? A roasted piece of cauliflower is just delicious. It didn't really need the fish too fat. What is that there for? It's scary to take meat off the plate if you're used to cooking with it. I felt it was a safe dish. Chabelle's dish was much braver. Mm -hmm. Simple ingredients, done technically perfectly. Man. I also love the fact that you take a humble onion and yeah. just you know, raise it up to, to that level. I quite like that you had a budget of 250 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Spent, and spent two pounds 50. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're solid. Yeah. Dale was good. Aubergine was cooked perfectly. Nice and fleshy. I don't think that Dale needed lamb. I think it went pretty good. You know, it's hard to tie faces. I appreciate how subtle the flavors of Buddha's dish are. Poaching dashi and right. sort of sucks in the flavor of the broth. 
Yeah. Brett Graham's out there, an Australian with two Michelin stars in London. One of my idols. Makes me realize why I did it again. Exactly. Everything is really good. So you're trying to pick faults of one. Tiny, tiny faults. Oh, that's the issue. Usually it starts a couple of weeks in. This time it's starting right off the bat. Coming through.